Welcome to the CB and Ham Radio Concepts. Today we're going to take a look at the President Bill 2 FCC AM and FM radio. That's right, you're over the fun. We're going to take a look at the President Bill 2 FCC AM and FM. I call it a micro radio. It is literally smaller than my hand, and I don't have really big hands either. Um, I don't know what what I can add to the tons of videos that's already out there on this little booger, but uh, I picked it up to put in my wife's car because it's small, and she's got a little subcompact SUV, and this thing's going to fit really good in there, and probably get a low-profile antenna to go on it, so you won't have no great big things sticking on top of her roof. She didn't want that, but um, it is a good little radio. Uh, I like the FM on it, as you heard in the intro to the video, and that don't really give a good example of the FM quality. I mean, that's coming through my Yezu into a cheap speaker. So, you know, they're right here close together. So you don't get a real true picture of how clear it is on uh, FM. Um, it does need a better microphone. I can tell you that. The microphone sucks. Uh, that's the biggest downfall I got on this radio. It absolutely sucks. The microphone does. Um, otherwise, it's all menu-driven uh, little radio. So... Let me flip the camera around and I'll get over here and I'll show you uh, this little micro radio I got hooked up in here. Okay, here's the President Bill 2 FCC. And what, like I was saying, everything's menu driven. But here's another thing I like about it. Is the ANL and noise blanker and high cut. The high cut filter comes in really handy. And it's got CB and weather alert or channels and you can set the alert on it. That's the main selling point for me was the weather, especially out here in Kansas. Uh, there's your menu or AM, FM, and Vox. It does have Vox, so that comes in handy. And you can program your emergency channels right here. But to change channels, there's two ways of doing it on this crazy thing, as you've probably already seen. You can do it with up and down buttons on the microphone, like so. Or you can come in here and do it right like this. Now... Like I said, everything's menu driven, so, and it's hard to do on here with one hand. But uh, you can set everything by the menu. And the most important thing, I guess, a lot of you like to know is how do you um, set the power and audio levels? Right now, if you take a look, I got this thing set about a one watt dead key. And it drives this little RM Italy pretty good. Except audio is like really low on this radio no matter what you do with this piece of crap microphone. So let's, let's go down here. Get about a 30 watt dead key and it don't have much swing at all. This meter is terrible anyway. It's not a peak reading meter. But uh, this microphone sucks. Okay, to get into the menu where you can adjust the power and the audio settings, you got to push this one, this one at the same time, like so, and turn this on while you got the mic keyed. Let me put the camera down, and I'll get into the service menu. And just to let you know, you are doing this at your own risk, and, you know, so... Take that in consideration. All right, here's, don't show it worth a flip on the screen. This is your power level. There's your audio level. So I got mine set pretty much wide open. And don't worry about that. Power level, 92. And that's um, where I got it keying about a watt. It'll go up to about four watt dead key, maybe a little bit more. But I run in it at one watt dead key so you can drive the amplifier pretty well okay to get into the menu to change like the color and all hold the am am and fm button down while you turn this on and then you and if you don't do it really quick you see it already goes back to the factory setting so let's try this again All right, here we are. So there we go, the color. You can do the key beep, which I cannot stand. 
Roger beep. It's got several different types of Roger beeps. It's where you set your emergency channel, your mic, element, or uh, something else on here. I forgot what it was. There's a volume. There's your reset in case you screw everything up. And then your color. And then I think you key the button on the mic. But anyway, if you leave it alone, it'll switch back to the regular setting here in just a minute. There it goes. Anyway, that's a look at the President Bill 2 FCC AM and FM radio. And like I said, it's tiny and it does need a microphone. But if you change microphones, you lose the up and down capability of the mic, which pfft, no big deal. You can just take the screen, tap it up top or bottom to change the channel. And um, that, you know, that's all that problem. To me, this little radio would be good if you're in a Jeep or truck and you're going trail riding with your buddies. Uh, it's perfect. You can just pop it in and out. Really easy. Uh, the only another thing I don't like about it, the power cord is permanently mounted into the radio, so you can't unplug the power cord and take the radio out. What I'm going to do is hook a cigarette lighter adapter up to this thing, so I can just pop it in and out of the car when we're not using, you know, not using the radio. So I think that's the best way to go on that. But that's a quick look at the President Bill to FCC.